Hi, I'm Heidi Song and I work at Salon Zuberance, a Redken Elite Salon in Linwood, Washington. I've been in the industry for about six years and I absolutely love what I do. I'm just at the very beginning of my career. I want to be a part of it because I believe so much in self-betterment. I always want to be my best self, my best stylist, and I believe that Redken is simply the best. The best in education, the best in innovation, and the best in um, spreading inspiration to others. I remember my experiences being inspired and that's what I want to cultivate and pass on to everybody else around me. I've learned so far on my Redken journey that I learn so much better when I'm teaching other people and I think that's a great give and take relationship to be able to share for somebody else to learn but also for them to share with me so that I can learn. And throughout the facilitating and teaching process, I really have found myself being more grounded in my knowledge, more excited about what I'm doing and it just has pushed me to refine myself as a colorist and as a stylist and as a person to really just understand people and communication better. I feel like that's a really strong skill that I have. Um, I'm able to relate and communicate well with my clients, my peers, um, just industry professionals, and that's definitely an essential key I feel there is there it needs to be to be a Redken artist. I've seen the Redken artists locally and um, not locally and I just see a commonality of them all having this unique energy and spirit of wanting to share and that's a really rare thing just in life that people who are knowledgeable and are experienced are willing to share that with other people and I really respect that quality and that's something that I have and I'm pushing myself to even be more of. Redkin is my absolute dream. I never knew I wanted to be an educator until I worked with the Redkin line. Um, it kind of started out as a spark at the very beginning when I was at my first Redkin Symposium and I saw Sam Villa and Chris Barron and all these amazing artists on stage just so full of joy and passion, so excited about what they were doing and it made me so emotional to even watch other people love what they do and that really kind of was the initial spark in me, just kind of the idea like maybe I could do that someday. Um, since then, the spark has kind of fanned into a flame since I've gone to different education events, gone to be certified, gone to be um, a design authority, and continuing just working behind the chair and learning more about Redken as a brand and as a company and what they believe in. Um, I'm kind of at the point now where I just really want to fan that flame to really be set on fire as a Redken artist and really do what sets me on fire. Like, I feel so passionate and so excited and just true joy and fulfillment that I don't feel like everybody gets to experience and so I recognize that that's such a unique thing um, for someone to realize what they want to do and to be able to give, be given the opportunity to do what they love. Um, so I'm ready just to go full steam ahead and really um, explore and live into my dream of being a Redken artist. What I love about Redken is so many things, but specifically that they are such an amazing company and such a large brand, but they are so available and accessible to us as stylists. I have reached out to so many different artists who have been really helpful and super knowledgeable about the products or techniques or anything I need help with, and I really value having that resource in my community as a stylist, and I would like to be on the other side of it and extend that to my coworkers and people all around me. Um, in the industry to be able to be that resource for them. I want people to feel comfortable coming to me, uh, asking questions, asking advice, anything that they need, and know that I will be able to help them because Redken is so great about um, training and educating their artists to really be the authority and the expert in that brand. What I love about the Redken culture is that it is so diverse. I have seen so many different types of artists, different types of people who all get to do the same thing. And I absolutely love that because no two people are the same. And I love that Redken celebrates our uniqueness and our differences and allows us to be who we are, but still represent the amazing brand that Redken is. I feel like every person is so different and has something different to offer. And I really love that Redken wants to enhance or amplify those different qualities that make them who they are, but also give the same quality and assurance that Redken offers in their education and in their products. 
Another reason why I love Redken is because they are so informative as far as why their products do what they do. I love that they're a science-based company, but they don't forget about art or inspiration. It's like this perfect blend of all the things that are necessary to create beautiful hair, but also know how and know why you're creating that look. Um, I really appreciate having facts and really pointed statistics of what we're doing, what's in the product, what the ingredients are, where they come from, how to use them, and I feel like I'm a better stylist because of Redken because I can be the authority to my client and tell them exactly what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, how I'm doing it, and what's in it that's going to benefit their hair. That has helped me to build a relationship with my client to where they trust me and they know that um, I stand behind Redkin and Redkin stands behind me and the two of us together are working side by side to give our guests the best hair and the best experience that they can have. I am inspired by people. I believe that this is a people business first and a beauty industry second. I love the two of them and the fact that the two of them can come together just gives me like my perfect playground. I'm inspired by everything around me, but specifically the people that sit in my chair, who they are, who they want to be, who they aspire to be. My goal is to actually be a platform artist someday. I will never forget my experience at Redkin Symposium in 2015. It was my first symposium ever, my first big Redkin show I'd ever been to, and I remember sitting up in the front, teary-eyed, because I was so inspired by all these amazing artists who just had such a passion and a life um, of art, and that really inspired me. And the fact that watching somebody else do what they love to do inspired me on an emotional heart soul level to the point of tears is what inspired me to be like that to inspire other people to have that same response i believe that knowledge unshared is knowledge wasted if i learn something um, a new way or a new technique or a new trend my what brings me joy is sh sharing it with other people I have always lived by the saying that says, do whatever sets your soul on fire, and that's how I feel. I feel the most fulfilled and the happiest when I'm doing hair and spending time with people creating beauty in them. lovely client Liana and um, we were going to be doing her hair today so her natural level go and look down for me is a six and then she had some previous foils around the face some highlights she's got a really hard line of demarcation here um, and then she had foils in through her ends um, what we're gonna be doing today is I'm going to balayage some highlights up through the roots to where um, she has a little bit more dimension and a little bit of a softer new growth. I'm gonna diffuse these really bold pieces in the front and just make them a lot softer. I'm also going to balayage through her ends to give her some brighter pieces in dimension as well as low light, some darker pieces in there just to break up how solid the ends are. We're also gonna reshape her cut and give her a style. So we're here at the shampoo bowl and we always want to use best practices so we're going to be pre-treating her hair. First I'm going to use pre-art and leave it on for five minutes and then I'm not going to rinse but I'm going to shampoo it out with cleansing cream. Then I'm going to rinse that and I always do a double cleanse just to make sure I'm getting all the buildup off of her hair. Then I'm going to shampoo with extreme shampoo which is um, a great fortifier for distressed hair because her hair has been through a lot chemically as well as product buildup. Then I'm going to treat her with an extreme shot and an all soft shot. The extreme shot is going to help build back some protein in her hair and the all soft is going to give moisture and softness. Then I'm going to seal it all in with Fix, fix Phase 3.5 for chemically distressed hair and then I'm going to finish off with extreme conditioner. Okay, so we're back here in the dispensary. We're gonna mix up Liana's color. So on zone one, I'm gonna do flash lift and 40 volume because with flash lift, you get up to eight levels of lift and I want her natural level five and a half, six to be at about a nine, 10 blonde. Um, so I'm gonna get the most levels of lift with flash lift and 40 volume. On zone two and three through the ends, I'm going to highlight over previously blonde with flash lift and 30 volume because I just don't want as high of a lift, but I still want those brighter pieces. And then I'm also going to be low lighting her with chromatics, 7N with 10 volume, oil and cream developer. Um, so with flash lift, I'm going to mix it one to two parts. Mix just consistency here. 
I'm also using the flash lift because it's got a B5 vitamin that's gonna help condition the hair as well. Now I'm mixing her zone two and three lightener. And I actually decided I'm gonna do 20 volume instead because her ends are already pretty light. They don't need to be super, super blonde. And I put this in a lighter bowl because it's going on the lighter hair for me to remember. Flash Lift is my absolute favorite for balayage because the consistency is so smooth. Um, also, I tend to have a lot of clients that have um, darker hair that want to be super blonde. So Flash Lift with their up to eight levels of lift is the perfect lightener for me to freehand balayage with. So I'm using chromatics because it is an ammonia free color. I'm doing 30 grams of 7N to 30 grams of chromatics oil and cream developer in 10 volume because I only want deposit. Chromatics is one of my favorite color lines to use because you get the hair two times fortified as well as four dimensional. You get the ammonia free qualities and it creates a really beautiful shine on the hair. It's also a little bit more gentle because it is ammonia free and it's got an awesome thicker consistency for when you are free handing or doing balayage to where it's not going to bleed or you won't have to isolate it in any type of foil or saran wrap. how she had some really solid foils put in and I really want to help just diffuse that as well as add some lightness back here. So I'm going in um, in a triangular section for softness and this is my flash lift in 40 volume that I start kind of in zone two and then feather it up into zone one. So I chose to balayage Liana. Um, basically on zone one, I did a dimensional balayage with my first formula of flash lift and 40 volume. And then I pulled flash lift and 20 volume through um, zone two and three in a balayage technique, totally freehand because I really wanted that melted, really blended, soft, diffused color. So in addition to using my lightener, I'm also going to low light her hair with Chromatics 7N and 10 volume oil and cream developer. I chose to use Chromatics because I love that it's two times fortifying the hair for the hair. Um, you get a four dimensional color and it creates a beautiful shine, plus it's ammonia free. I also love the thickness of the color because it's great to work for freehand low lighting um, when I won't be using any foil or saran wrap or anything to isolate my color.
So after I'm all done highlighting and lowlighting, the flash lift can process for up to 50 minutes and the chromatics can process up to 35, or processes at 35 minutes. Um, after that's all done, I want to rinse and post treat her hair. So again, I want to go back with extreme, um, an extre extreme shot, an all soft shot, and then this time I want to add a color extend shot as well for longevity of that chromatics color. After that, I want to seal all with a 3.5 fixed phase for chemically distressed hair and then condition with um, color extend conditioner actually. And then after rinsing that out, then I'm going to dry her and she's all ready to go for a gloss. So I'm back here mixing. I just rinsed Liana and dried her and she, her blonde is like a level 8-9 but she still has got quite a bit of yellow undertone. So I'm going to gloss with um, Shades EQ, which I love. Do O9V and a little bit of O9B and clear. I love Shades EQ gloss because it's the most versatile color line within the Redken. Um, I love it because it's demi-permanent, it's so, so shiny. Um, it's deposit only. It really creates beautiful tone for blondes. I love using yellow click, yellow kicker, um, just as a gloss for um, shine on levels like six and darker. Um, I love it to camouflage grays under heat, um, just to blend them a little bit. I use gloss every single day, and it's my favorite color for sure. So I'm doing two ounces of crystal clear. I definitely want to dilute because I don't want her to go dark at all. And I'm going to do one and a half ounces of O9V and a quarter ounce of O9B. And add a little bit more violet. She just has a little bit of. It's like a dark gold, really, really light orange color. So I'll need the blue for that. And then I'm doing equal parts processing solution, so I'll do four ounces of this. Then I'm gonna shake this up and I'm gonna go apply. First, I'm using the BBB spray from Blonde Idol. This is going to detangle, add shine, even out the porosity. And it smells amazing. Yeah, great. And I distribute that through the hair. Then I'm going in with Extreme anti-snap, which prevents from five different types of breakage, mechanical damage, um, heat damage, chemical damage. Did I already say that? And then this is my number one favorite product, Pillow Proof Primer. You want to shake it until the two elements mix. And I'm going to spray this generously throughout her hair. This is going to cut our dry time in half. It's going to equalize the porosity. It's going to protect the hair from heat up to 450 degrees. And it's going to keep our style lasting longer. So my favorite thing about what I do every day is I love creating a look from start to finish. Some people ask me, well, what do you enjoy better? Color, cutting, finishing? And I always say all of the above. I really enjoy um, a full transformation when I get to be in creative control of what the color looks like, what the color is, where it's placed, um, the finish of it, and I also love to create a beautiful silhouette that's going to enhance that color as well as um, a beautiful finish, whether that's a round brush blowout or an updo or a braid. I really believe in the whole look because I'm not selling, you know, a color retouch or and a cut. I'm not selling. Um, a braid. I'm selling an appearance and a look that my guest is looking for. So for her cut, um, she wanted to keep her length, so I just cut about a quarter inch really blunt um, off her ends. And then um, I chose to do swelling 
layering because she curls her hair really often and she doesn't like a ton of layering. I did quite a bit of face framing in the front and over directed the hair forward to give her really soft blended wispy pieces in the front as well as um, like a sexy side fringe. or damp hair, but you can also use it on dry as well. So next I'm using Iron Shape 11. This is a thermal protectant with a medium hold. I love to spray this all throughout the hair on dry hair for heat protection. You can also section and spray each section, but because I just wanted general heat distribution, I sprayed it all over and now I'm just taking the wide teeth of my comb distributing it through the ends. And I just take really large sections, keeping my iron vertical, feeding the ends through, so I still get a curl in through the top. And I always let the hair cool before I run my fingers through it because that's where style memory comes from. From hair going from wet to dry or from hot to cold. triple chamber and this gives a really high hold.
big part of my experience that I offer to my guests is um, making recommendations for them. I always say that I'm their hair doctor and I'm going to prescribe them what they need for their hair to have beautiful, shiny, healthy hair. So um, I make it really easy for my guests to know exactly what I recommend for them by literally setting it out um, in order of what I recommend and then I go through them. Um, product by product as far as how much to use, when to use, etc. Um, but a lot of that really does happen within the um, service. So like while I'm shampooing, I'll talk to them about what they're using at home for shampoo and then I'll recommend what I'm, what I'm using and why I recommend that. Um, and then at the very end, they're, all, they're very familiar with the products and it's just easy for them to grab. So um, for Liana, what we did with her full balayage and her highlighting and her low lighting um, on her previously blonde hair, I recommend the entire Extreme line for her. So I sent her home with um, Redken Extreme shampoo and conditioner because um, those are just a great system that's going to help fortify and build the protein back into the hair. And then I also recommended for her to once a week do the cat treatment, um, which is a cystic acid treatment that she's going to leave on for three to five minutes after shampooing her hair and rinsing it out um, that comes from a plant-based protein so she never has to be worried about over protonizing the hair. But this is going to be really great for just really building back the protein. Um, once a week, the same time that she does do the cat, I also want her to be using the um, Strength Builder Plus because after three uses, you get 96% less breakage, and that's just a great statistic for her. Being so blonde, um, this being multiple times of her being highlighted, it's really important for us to keep the integrity of her hair. Um, and then lastly, I recommended Redken Extreme Anti-Snap. This is a great leave-in for her that I used on her as well. And this is going to help um, protect the surface of ooh, the surface of her hair um, when she heat styles. Basically, in summation, I absolutely love Redken. I love them as a brand. I love what they stand for. I myself have been able to um, learn, earn, and live better, and I'm really excited to see what that's going to look like uh, moving forward and how I'm going to be able to just build this amazing life in this future and be able to share the love with everybody I know. Um, my experience behind the chair, I've only been behind the chair for, I think I totaled it up the other day, and it was two years and eight months. And in that time, I've jumped four levels, and every month in the last, I think, almost two years, I've consistently sold over $1,000 in retail. Um, and that's just been a testament to how much I love the product, how much I believe in the brand, how happy I am to share that with my clients and with my coworkers. And that really just shows, um, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. I really love Redken, and I think that when you love something, it doesn't feel like work, it doesn't feel like selling. It just feels like a true joy to just get to share and um, to help other people experience what you experience. I just want to say a deep heartfelt thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me that you took the time to consider me um, to be Redken Artist. I hope that this video does it justice of how much I absolutely love what I do, how much I absolutely love Redken, and how excited I am, and um, how I'm just so looking forward to working with you guys. Thanks so much.